Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Analytics 4 tutorial. Today we're going to learn the difference between the pages and screens report versus the landing page report. So if you go to your Google Analytics 4 and you go to reports and you open your engagement drop down menu, you are going to find these reports, pages and screens and landing page. What is the difference between the two? And a couple of handy tips that you can use. Before we go straight to the point, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance. And off we go. Pages and screens is a report that is the complete, I would say, data dumped of the traffic of all your pages that you have on your website. So let's say you have a website, you have 100 pages, you come here, you're going to find the data of all your pages, regardless of when the user actually visits them. So what does this mean? It is better to explain if we start from landing page, actually. So landing page report is a report that shows you the sessions, views, users, and so forth of the pages that acted as the first interaction between the user and your website. So what this means is that this report only shows you the pages that the user landed on on the very first time when they came on your website. So let's say I open your website, I enter your website through the homepage. So this report, which is called landing page, is going to show the data, like there is one session, one user that landed on your homepage. Let's say that I found the blog of yours, and this is how I enter your website. Then this report will say somebody enter your website through this blog. Or let's say, for example, I enter your website through a product page. This report here will say, now there is a user that enter your website through this product page. So landing page report is only the first interaction between the user and your website, how people entered. Once they enter, then obviously they can visit multiple pages. So for example, let's say if I go to my website, I'm going to enter through the homepage. So I typed in the address and I enter through the homepage, but now I can go to different pages. For example, I'm going to go to my Google Analytics let's say page and then i'm going to go and click on a different url and then i'm going to go and click on yet a different url and so forth so the pages and screens report shows you the views the page views basically of all the sessions so it doesn't have to be let's say a session that started with this page. Maybe the user entered through the homepage, but then they visited two product pages and your contact page and your checkout page and some other page. So this pages and screens report it was going to show you all this information, right? So regardless of whether this page is the first visit or the second or the third, let's say, page that the user visited when they came to your website, then uh, this report is going to actually show you all the information, right? So that's the difference between pages and screens and landing page. That's why I told you in the beginning that pages and screens is a complete data dump of all the traffic that your URLs, your pages are getting basically versus landing page, which is only relevant to the first interaction between the user and your website. Now, common question why is it called pages and screens it is called pages and screens because ga4 is a hybrid tool and it can track websites but it can also track mobile applications and for mobile applications we don't have pages we have screens for example we have the let's say sign up screen and then we have the feed and then we have the message so for mobile applications we call every let's say time that you change the uh, you proceed let's say within the mobile application and you change the screen we call that a screen right so for websites every time you change url we call this a page so this report is called pages and screens because ga4 is a hybrid tool it can track both desktop uh, websites, desktop applications, and also mobile applications. If you don't have a mobile app, do you need to care? No. 
if you don't have a mobile app, you don't need to care. You deal with pages only. Couple more things now here. Under pages and screens, you can change the dimension from the drop down menu. And instead of viewing the page title, you can actually view the page path, right? So here you can actually change to page path, which means the URL of your pages, right? And that's a very frequently asked question. How can I see this report looking at the URL of the page as opposed to the page title? What is the page title? If you hover your mouse on top of your browser, what is going to come up? For example, here it says Google Analytics for GA4 training course. This is the page title. Every page in your website has a title. So you can either consume this report based on the page title, or you can consume this report based on the path, which means the URL address of the page that you are dealing with, right? So that's how you can differentiate between the information that you can get under pages and screens and landing page. Landing page is a very useful report for anyone who is into SEO because you can come here, you can filter down to let's say organic traffic and you can understand what are the pages that are giving you traffic from organic search engines like let's say Google, Bing and so forth. Uh, you can also see, for example, here, if you run performance max campaigns and you have URL expansion on where the system is actually sending the traffic and which pages are best performing when they are the first ones that the user actually visits on your website. So that's the value of landing page report. The value of pages and screens, obviously, you can identify the most popular products, the most popular sections, the most popular categories of your website, also very, very important report in the context of Google Analytics 4. So that's it. One more time, landing page report. It is only the first interaction between the user and your website, how they enter pages and screens report, the complete data dump of all the visitorship of your website URLs. That's it. I hope that you learned the difference now and this video was useful for you. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next.